And the moment that you let the mind rule, the moment that you let the mind tell you the truth, you will never know the truth. The truth is never told in the mind. It is told outside the mind. So it's allowing something else to rule. I have a question for you. Who do I sound like? You're not worthy of beautiful women. Don't approach her. She's too hot. Your mind, it constantly comes up with things like this. And many of the times you're trying to figure out why does it? Why does my mind come up with things and I believe it? It's not why does things come up in my mind? It's why do things come up in my mind and I believe it? If you really think about it, you've learned to believe your mind the most. Because in some way it seems like it's the truth. And I can tell you right now that absolutely yes, it is the truth. Whatever your mind is telling you, it is the truth. When your mind says, you're not beautiful, I mean, you're not worth, when you say, when it says, you're not worthy of beautiful women, it is telling the truth. When it tells you that she's too hot, she's telling, it's telling you the truth. When it's telling you that you shouldn't go talk to her, it is telling you the truth. That's crazy to think about, isn't it? It's crazy to think about, you're so used to believing your mind, you're so used to going with what your mind says that your reality is showing the results of what your mind has told you. Your mind tells you that she's too hot. Therefore, don't approach her. And then what do you do? You don't approach. She's too hot first comes up, <clears throat> and then what you feel is that I'm not gonna talk to her because she is. Or maybe your mind tells you you're not worthy of her. And then what do you do? You make sure that you don't interact with her because a part of you feels that you have to be something else. Your mind is wonderful, it is. It showed you so many truths. It showed you so much how you don't deserve that girl. It showed you so much that when you see that girl, she is too hot, so don't approach her. It has showed you all of the things that is true. And the mind has showed you that. It showed you everything that's true in the mind. Because you go, okay, you know what? I wanna to speak to that girl over there, but right now, I feel, in my, I feel and I felt that, okay, she's too hot for me. So I don't even, even want to look at her. And yeah, I want to go speak to her. It's the truth. She's too hot for me. She is. Because you know why she's too hot for you? You know why it's the truth? Because whatever your body is doing is reinforcing what your mind is telling it. So in your system, it's reinforcing whatever the truth you believe in your mind. And that's why I tell you, everything that your mind is telling you is the truth. It is. You know why? Because your body has reinforced it. This whole video today is about learning to believe something else because when you believe your mind, you believe that whatever it's telling me is just the way things is, the way things are. Whatever, you, whatever my mind is telling me right now, I need to listen because this is the truth. Yes, absolutely, for sure. But how about you try a different route? How about you try a route where you're not listening to your mind? How about you try a route where your mind is not the king? Because the mind so far has been the king of your life. And the moment that you let the mind rule, the moment that you let the mind tell you the truth, you will never know the truth. The truth is never told in the mind. It is told outside the mind. So it's allowing something else to rule. I remember when I would be in clubs and I would be walking around on the street and I would see girls who are, what people would say, very hot or very attractive or very beautiful. And I would feel at the same time that I, I need to be something to get these girls. 
This community was built in many ways back, you know, when I was looking at it back then, to show me that there's beautiful women out there who you can get, but you just need to become something else. You just need to do something different. What you're doing right now is not going to get them. And they were right. It had a lot, they had a lot of truth in that. You know, me going up to women on the street and complimenting too much because I was afraid of that she was going to walk away. Yes, I need to do something different. Me looking at a woman walking down the street and then uh, hovering around her and not doing it and letting her see me and kind of hovering over it and then her knowing that I took all that time to talk to her. Yes, I needed to do something different. But something that didn't tell me and something I came to realize is I don't need to believe all the things that my mind is telling me. I don't need to believe it. I don't even need to structure anything in my mind so that I feel worthy of these women. This is something I never found out through the community. The community never taught me this. It never taught me that true worthiness is not found in the mind. It never taught me that. It always taught me that, you know, saying things to myself that's going to allow me to go up to women is good. Saying things that affirming what I want to do is good. But it never taught me that worthiness is outside the mind. It never taught me that. So what did I do? I walked around and I ran up to women. And as I was talking to women over and over and over, I was believing what my mind was telling me. My mind was telling me, she's too hot, or she's so attractive. You need to go up and you need to really be confident with her. She's so beautiful, you need to learn to be more relaxed to, be, to get a girl like that. It taught me, it taught me this. This is what my mind was teaching me. My, my mind was teaching me this. So I kept watching a lot of videos. I kept trying to do things to get worth. I kept trying to read things, kept trying to read books and expose myself to as many sources as I can to let myself know that I'm worthy of beautiful women, to let myself know that I can get this woman in my life. And I was on a hard search. I was on a hard, hard, hard search to find what is the way for me to be able to get these women. Why can't I get these women? The frustration that I was going through, the feeling of that's a woman right there. She's so attractive. What do I need to get that woman? Because I would approach women that are really attractive and they, would, they wouldn't get back to me. They would flake. I would approach women who are really attractive and they would maybe text me back but never go on a date with me. And every blue moon, I would go on a date with one. Every blue moon. Because you know when you first get in this, you're looking at, okay, what are the girls who are the most attractive who I've always been afraid to talk to? And then you go up to them and you think you have a chance and then they give you a chance. And maybe they respond good, but then they never get back to you. And then you start getting discouraged over time. And you start going, they're not getting back to me because I wasn't relaxed enough, because I wasn't confident enough, because maybe if I dressed a little bit more up to date. You're trying to find out all the things of why she didn't get back because you just don't know what do I need to be worthy of that woman. That's what that all is stemming from. And that's what I was going through. I was going through what do I need to do to get these women that I find unattainable or that men find unattainable. And I continue my search. My search led me to, you know, looking at many videos that talk about this. It led me to James. It led me to trying to just find the way that I can so that I can feel that I'm okay enough for the women out there who seem to go with men who are just okay. Men who are just confident. And my mind always told me that you have to keep searching until you finally find the answer. 
So I decided to do something different. Because I was getting into what it meant to be a man that's not of the mind, I started to go, what would happen if I just move my awareness away from my mind? If I didn't try to figure out the answer that's up here, if I didn't try to search so frantically to find it, what if I just moved away from my mind? What if I started to believe that there's no worthiness at all? What if I just started to believe that? And then I tried to go down that track. And then I went, okay, is this worthiness? Okay, what if I just stop believing what that means and I just go out there? And I started to get insights. The, in starts, the insights that started to come in were, there's something to this that's not in the mind. What is really about this? And then I went on a search for, okay, what is the truth around my mind telling me what worthiness, worthiness is and me feeling what worthiness is? What is, the, what is the truth to this? So you guys know that me being somebody who talk about awareness, when I shifted my awareness from out of my mind to in my body, when I, when I started to truly be at center on the inside, when I started to move my awareness somewhere else in my body, all of what worthiness started to, what worthiness meant, it faded away. All of what it meant just faded away. I started to go, yeah, that girl right there is really attractive and I want to speak to her, period. There was no more, okay, I want to go speak to this woman and she's really hot so that means that I have to be really confident, that means that I have to be really relaxed, I need to show her that I'm not needy. None of that came up because I just went, period. Remember, when you feel something as a truth and you add on things, that is your mind playing the role now. That is your mind adding on to the experience of what's the truth. The only truth you know in the moment is there is a girl and I want to speak to her. That is the only truth you know in the moment. But the mind adds things on. It goes, there's a girl and she's attractive and she's this and I must be this and I am not that. And then it continues on with that. I start going point blank period. There's a girl and she's attractive and I want to go speak to her, point blank period. And I would go up and I would feel in moments where I even go up when I started, started out doing this that I'm still uncomfortable, that I'm still nervous, that will she think that I'm relaxed? Those thoughts did come up, but I kept returning myself back to point blank period. I just want to go speak to her. And something magnificent happened in that moment. In that moment when I did that, <clears throat> and then I did it over again, and I did it over again, then something man magnificent started to unravel for me. And that simply was, worthiness doesn't lie in the mind. It doesn't. I was believing my mind so much in what it told me. Just like you probably are, or you were. You are or you were believing your mind so much that it seemed like it's the truth. But the truth is not in the mind. Truth is not in the mind. It's not. The mind can only tell you something that you think is the truth. Can only show you something that you think is the truth. The truth is not that girl is too hot. No girl is too hot. When you say she's too hot, you have to understand that the two part is already saying that you don't have a chance. She's too hot. You don't, you're saying I don't have a chance with her. That's what's underneath that. I'm not worthy of beautiful women. Basically what you're saying is that if she is really attractive, then I'm not enough for that. I'm not enough for something that's really attractive. I'm not enough for something that's average. I'm enough for something that looks okay, but I'm not enough for something that's okay. That's not okay, really beautiful to me. And this for me was really hard to come to. And I struggled and I struggled and I struggled to the point where I just came to an internal peace on the inside that just went, if worthiness is not found in the mind, then I'll never ever try 
to convince myself that I'm worthy. Because anytime I try to convince myself that I'm worthy, anytime I try to look for the answer to how can I become worthy, I will never find it. So I stop my search. I stop looking at videos. I stop trying to get advice. I start trying to go, okay, what is the way for me to feel like I'm worthy enough to go talk to that girl? And I start just going up to these women. And I start to see that these women don't even register in themselves, okay, are you worthy or not? Women are just going, oh, he's here and he's talking to me. That's it. She's not registering the thing that you're registering. And this gave me so much leverage because I started to go, so many guys out there, they're, they're really believing that worthiness comes from what you tell yourself, what you think about yourself. No, that only builds a belief about yourself. But to really experience yourself, to really experience a woman is not going to be, I am worthy enough up here. So then, okay, now I'm worthy enough. I can do this. Okay, I'm confident enough. I feel relaxed in my body. That's why I'm worthy. No, that's not why you're worthy. You're worthy because you walked up to the woman and you just said hello. That's why you're worthy. You're worthy because you see that woman and you feel attracted to her and you go over to her and you tell her that I'm attracted to you. That's why you're worthy. You're not worthy because you get her number. You're worthy because you are expressing yourself moment to moment, point blank period. That's why you're worthy. Point blank period, which means I said this to her, that's it. I went up to her and I told her that, that's it. Anything else you add on is the mind trying to tell you something, trying to let you know that you are something. And I stopped this. I stopped the mind doing that, and that was the biggest difference. That was the bigger difference between me seeing a girl and feeling like she's too hot, and me going up, saying hello, and feeling in front of her, yes, I'm not used to being around a girl this attractive. I'm not, and I feel uncomfortable being here and trying to be normal because all the parts of me, all the parts of my mind that wanted to tell me that I need to be this and this and this is starting to arise in me. And I'm not giving it any attention, so all I can feel is the feelings. That's it. The feelings are there while I'm talking to this girl and I can feel that I'm uncomfortable, but I know that I'm worthy simply because I'm in front of her and I'm expressing that which I feel to be true for me. That is why I'm worthy. It became that, and I tell you this in this moment, that is when everything started. That's when everything changed for me. Not started to change, that's when everything changed. So, trust me, you're not worthy because you went up and you got her number. You're not worthy because you took her to the bedroom. You're worthy, you're worthy because you expressed yourself when you walked up to her. You let her know that you are interested in her. You let her know that you're attracted to her. That's why you're worthy. Point blank, period, though. There's no need for analysis after that. Just go and express yourself. Just go do that. Of course, it's easier for me to be with you and for you to come get coaching. Of course, that's easier for you. But let's say you never took that route. This is the route that works. This is the route that's the most true to self-worth in relation to women. I have a little mission for you. And the mission is, any woman that you see that you, that you find to be too hot, that you find that, you're, that you feel unworthy of, I just want you to look at her and just really notice, am I unworthy or is my mind telling me that I'm unworthy right now? Is she too hot or my mind's telling me that she's too hot? Only do that. Be the observer of the moment of what your mind tells you. And see in that moment how you have believed your mind. Just see. Just see in that moment. Notice how you just believe your mind. And it causes you inaction. That's all I want you to do. This observing exercise is going to give you a lot of insight into what you believe. And whatever you believe isn't the truth because belief and truth is in two different worlds. Truth is of the heart and belief is of the mind. So, see what you believe. And whatever you believe, I just would like for you to take notice of it. Because you believe it. And it's caused you what your reality looks like right now. But if you feel like, you know what? <clears throat> I want to get this handled. I have a free seduction course down in the description box. You can click on that and that's going to be able to get you started. That's going to give you everything from 
What do you do up on the approach? Even before the approach, I talk about mindsets just simply to get you going. But of course, later on, my thing is to get, get you rid of mindsets. But it's a very much a beginner course, about 30 minutes, very effective on how to go from meat to bedroom. I would like for you to subscribe. And that's just a little red button on the side. Subscribe if you feel like this helped you because there's so many more of my videos that's talking about similar things like this. And I want you to share this. Share this with anybody you feel that's, that it's going to help. Because it's not just for you. It's probably for people you know too as well. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want. In life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.